the biggest disasters that happen to young men in the US is that they look at football players and basketball players and they see the successful ones and they want to be like them. And they waste many of their years trying to be successful basketball players or football players. And the sad fact is that the National Basketball Association employs 60 people a year on average, 60 in the US. But those are the ones you see. You don't see the thousands that try to be the 60 and have, they didn't study, they did not pursue their dreams and they fall by the wayside. So, but the white people, my, my apologies to Mr. Weeks, they go to school and they learn to be engineers and lawyers and doctors. And every year the US employs hundreds of thousands of lawyers and engineers because that is more sustainable than trying to be a basketball player. And so the gap continues. So for the young people here, let me say this. Government owes you a number of things. And you owe the government also a number of things. The first thing the government owes you is an environment where your skills can be developed and utilized. I keep hearing about education, education, education. And I have a completely different view about education in Nigeria. Nigeria produces more doctors for the rest of the world than almost any other country in, in, in the world. It's not that we don't have good doctors. We have 40,000 doctors in the US today. So what are we doing? We're going to create more doctors so they can go to the US and stay and the UK. We need to build the hospitals here so that the doctors can come back and practice. That's what government owes you. Government doesn't owe you teaching you so that you can go to the US. It owes you the environment to practice your skills. And that's one thing government is not doing. I keep telling people that if I was in university today, I would not have studied mathematics and I would not have worked so hard to graduate so highly. Because there's no correlation between going to university today and getting a good job. There's a better correlation between going to politics and getting a good job. There's a better correlation with entertainment, singing and dancing and acting, noble things, but it's, there's a better correlation. So you see a lot of young men today and young women trying to go to Nollywood or sing and all that because the correlation between even soccer, I was a very good soccer player and my father wrote my school and said he must stop playing soccer because he didn't see a correlation between playing soccer, football as you call it, and a good life. But now we do. So many people are encouraging their kid, children to play football in school. So we can talk all we want about the future and tomorrow. We in government have to create the environment so that young men want to study. Young men know that when they study engineering and they come out, they have jobs. Young men have to know that being a lawyer is a good career and leads to a better life. And until we do that, there is not enough room in this country for the young men.